when did you start uh composing mostly like background stock music and when did you start putting it up on the internet um the the background stock music thing i don't like i don't know so i was getting some i was getting some traction getting a couple of gigs doing um movies uh movie soundtracks mm -hmm. and when somebody asks you if you can do a movie soundtrack you say yes uh and then you learn how to do movie soundtracks and so i started working on that and i started getting a lot of rejections uh like yeah this piece doesn't work this piece doesn't work this piece doesn't work and i'm like oh normally everyone's just really happy that they have everything but now i actually have a like a really good director who is like saying yeah not matching the mood i'm like well i mean the piece of music was okay so i'll just give that piece of music to everybody else so it doesn't feel like such a waste of my life to get rejection after rejection after rejection so i started putting those up there and then that's when people started going oh okay and that was it was always on the incompetech website yep I stutter myself trying to say that sometimes. <laughs> Incompetech Incompetec website. Yeah. I always mess it up. For my whole life, I thought it was like Incomptech. And I was like, what, the, what sure. is Incomptech? Incomp <laughs> um, so then when did you, what was the first time that after you uploading all of this music, you're like, this is good stuff. Um, yeah. You know, you just want people to hear it, even though it might not fit what I was working on. Yeah. When was the first time we were like, I, you know, I'm noticing like a, a big bump in, in traction and it's, people are really starting to use the stuff that I'm making. Never happened. You never had that like one, it one moment? It was such a slow, slow burn. I mean, we're talking over the course of 15 years. And it's like, oh, interesting, interesting. Things going up, interesting, interesting. There was never one just like moment. I never had like a America's Got Talent breakout thing where I went from unknown to super known. It was super smooth. And it was you were always releasing it as uh, Creative Commons? As soon as Creative Commons came out, I started using it. Yeah. What year was what year was that? After I started releasing music, I'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, so uh, I forget when though. So how did you before Creative Commons existed? How were you trying to protect your rights, your your ownership? Was there did you say anything, or did you just kind of put? Oh, it I'm up? not. I'm not trying to protect my rights or ownership of anything. But in the sense that there was nothing making sure that people had to credit you. You didn't no. care that never that it was not a problem for you. No. Why do you think that is? Because I know there's a lot of people that are so <laughs> hyper. No, it's for real. Like there's so many people. Oh, you're who, not wrong. No, there, yeah. there are people who like won't show their friends, won't show people they meet their music for advice because they're like, nah, man, what if, what if he takes the vibe? Like he's just gonna like, he, you know, he's yeah. gonna steal it. So why do you think it is that you are so open to the idea of people just being able to use I, it I freely? Know. I think the people who think that, you know, like, oh, my, my soul is going to get taken, my vibe is going to get taken, they probably haven't written a lot of music, maybe. And they're like, you know, look at all the time and effort I put into this one, isn't it precious? And it's like, well, sure. It's not great, but it's fine. Uh, people over people overvalue their own work and i try to be very mindful to not overvalue mine mm -hmm. and maybe i undervalue it and that's fine because nobody gets hurt was there ever a time where that was at least a tiny bit of a concern or is as soon as you were releasing it was just like i don't care it's out in the open whatever people want to do oh yeah any and <laughs> i mean coming from from performer anytime you can get one more person in the bar you are a happier person. <laughs> That's you know, going to be me in about two hours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, right. Because you, you just want to share the thing that you have. And if people find value in it, that's great. And you just keep going and just, yeah. I don't know if that was a decent answer or if I'm going off the rails here. No, but, no, it's uh, perfect. And I was the one, another thing I wanted to ask was about how, like you, people have to credit you if they want to use it for free, or they can buy the license uh, to just use the music, which is still so much cheaper than I think a lot of people would want to give away their music for. 
Right. So has there ever been a time where you heard your music in a like a really, really big budget thing where they wouldn't mm-hmm. even spare that 30 bucks and you're like, they, they're not crediting me. They're just flat out stealing this. And they especially shouldn't because they're not some small little Instagram account. They're a full film. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's happened a few times. Um, Do you want to say any names or no? <laughs> there's there, there's um, local auto ship dealers that have used my stuff without doing things I'm like that's yeah, fine i don't care uh but then there was a political candidate and i was at somebody's house watching television and and was like wait a minute <laughs> i would have seen like that request come through for licensing so like uh like emailed them saying hey thanks for using my music what's going on and what do they say <laughs> they're like oh uh you're uh, base not basically you're delusional but like no 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 we use this like super high-end um advertising agency out of philadelphia and like they're the best and you're wrong like we are we we got rights to this a super high-end agency that doesn't want to spare thirty (laughs) dollars so then i called the super high-end agency (laughs) and said hey what's going on with this and they're like okay let me get back to you (laughs) i got a call the next day and they offered me like 10 times my asking price for normal licensing to just can we can we not talk about this it's fine it's fine right now from what i've seen specifically in the documentary about you now and i I just this is my prediction did you just did you just take the 30 dollars or did you take the offer oh i took the oh i took the money okay good that makes sense I, i took the money because I, I was worried. I was like, please tell me you took that money. I mean, hey, how, how big of a, a political candidate are we talking? Uh, U.S. Senate. Damn. Yeah. This isn't no local it's not. Mayor. Well, I mean, it's U.S. Senate, so it's statewide. So, But it's still, they should, uh, yeah. this big brand agency should know what they're doing. <laughs> oh, they did know what they were doing. And they got me more money than I asked for. There so. you go. So it worked out in the end. Yeah. When was the first... That's- that's the only one I think I actually went after because I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> what's the what's your favorite that you've heard your music in? What what production? Um, favorite production I've heard my music in. Gosh, there's just a lot of online videos like uh, like the Minecraft videos and. <laughs> Uh, I've seen you have no idea every it's every I mean actually you have a perfect idea it's your music but I've seen yeah, yeah, yeah I'm like you don't you fucking know what you're talking about no I've heard your music in I think every single Minecraft and Fortnite video yeah in my entire life yeah uh I think they use it in Critical Role the D&D show mm-hmm. um yeah there, there's a couple of cool places where I'm like oh yeah so that <laughs> I did a thing. <laughs> so your confidence in your decision to to give it away has never wavered. You never go, ah oh, man, at this circumstance, I wish I kind of charged for it. No, absolutely not. There's no way it could have gotten the breadth that has gotten. Yes. Yeah, so do you think that there's uh, the fact that it's so easily accessible and has been able to? It's so easily, e- easily, easily usable for everyone. Yeah. High budget, right. low budget. Do you think that outweighs any amount of income that it, you could have made on a smaller scale if you were charging individually? Oh, yeah. I mean, yes. And it, and it, do do how do I know that? I haven't a clue. Like I'm basing this on zero data. So it's. I mean, it makes sense that you're going to get you're going to hear it in so many more places i mean obviously what is it uh spinning monkeys has like 30 million uses on tiktok which is absolutely 30 million uses over 200 billion impressions that's it's actually like ridiculous like the like a billion is i mean honestly 30 million of anything is ridiculous (laughs) a billion is ridiculous 200 billion that's almost it's almost you can't understand it. Actually, you really can't understand it. It's it is a level 
of fame that is really kind of crazy um like sometimes I'll, I'll go online and i'll be talking to like random people from morocco and libya and they're like oh yeah i know that song you're the guy you're great that's cool i'm like really <laughs> like yeah how long does it take you to, to barely big in china for weird reasons too that's surprising because social media is fairly limited there yeah well there, there, <laughs> facebook is facebook is banned but incompetech is allowed incompetech is allowed yeah um how long does it take from when you're going because you you have over like 2500 credits on imdb as as, as composition yeah. how do you, how long does it take to you from start to finish composing a song and do you start like i'm writing out just the music i'm just writing and then you produce it or is it kind of a a, a cross kind of a cross hatching as you work on it oh yeah when you're doing music for video you produce as you go okay you know you can't be like all right you know we got this you know beautiful horn line it's like well but there's somebody talking and now i can't comprehend them yeah it's like it's like you have to do it all the mixing and all the thing as you go um i used to quote for like moderate projects you know we could do about one completed hour of music or one completed minute per hour. Okay. So if you're coming to me with like, a, it's like, okay, we got a, you know, 28 episode uh, cartoon series, 22 minutes a piece, you know, that kind of thing.